Why he going through your phone? He miserable. I can't believe they did you wrong. Pitiful. She said she wanna drink my cup. Oh, I wanna fuck when she blind. Oh. Why he going through your phone? He miserable. I can't believe they did you wrong. Pitiful. She said she wanna drink my cup. Hey guys, welcome back to another little mini vlog. So you guys, it is currently 2:56 a.m. April the third. So it's Wednesday morning and I haven't gone to bed yet. Um, so I decided to go ahead and do my little late night chit chat video with you guys. This is kind of me dealing with my insomnia. So for those of you who are not new here, you guys know I suffer from, um, from insomnia, which is a form of a sleeping disorder. And it kind of comes and goes with me. Um, tonight it's definitely um active because i can't go to sleep for nothing so um instead of letting it you know get to me like it normally does because i am tired i would like to go to sleep but i just cannot sleep because my brain will not shut off like as soon as i close my eyes it's like a million things come flooding into my head and i just cannot sleep so um what I decided to do was get up and clean my bathroom, um, take a shower, wash my hair, and just kind of tire myself out. Um, I do have to be back up at like 8 o'clock in the morning, so I should really be going to bed. But um, if I can get four hours of sleep, um, I'll be happy. That'll be, I'm, I'm able to function on four hours of sleep, and then I'll catch a nap like midday and then um i'll be up again all evening so um i kind of wanted to just while i'm kind of letting the tub sit for a bit i put some stuff in there to clean it um i just kind of wanted to come on here and do my little late night chit chat so i'm gonna go sit um you guys know i like to kind of sit in the dark and just kind of talk um i'll kind of do that and just kind of explain to you guys how i am dealing with my insomnia, how I'm using it to my advantage, um, instead of um, instead of it going against me, I'm trying to use it to my advantage. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain all of that to you guys, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Um, okay, yeah. So like I said, I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about how I use my insomnia to my advantage. So one of the ways that I have learned to utilize um, the time that I have that I'm up is to just kind of do chores or do things that I'm, I don't have the energy to do during the day. Um, I can get it done at night quietly without disturbing other people. Um, I kind of do it like clean, quietly, do things that in the day I just don't have the energy or time to do. And I find that helps whittle down the insomnia the insomnia feeling of not being able to sleep like I literally tire myself out or I work on my business like I work on posting um, on my website updating my store um, doing inventory taking photos doing my reels all of that stuff I do at night um, all of that stuff I do at night. So that's one of the ways that I've learned to kind of live with this condition. Um, and when I'm stressed, because I am stressed and I know that's what's triggering it, it does trigger it off. Like I have some stuff coming up in the month of April that's like super important and it just, it has me on edge. Um, but I have gotten a lot better with kind of dealing with that. Whereas before the anxiety, the stress, the worry, all that stuff would kind of paralyze me and I wouldn't be able to do anything. Like I would have like laundry piling up, um, orders piling up, um, chores piling up. And I just was like stuck in a state of not being able to move forward and do anything. It was like, this heavy, heavy, heavy procrastination energy came over me and I could not, it's like a funk. I just could not get myself to move forward until I have gone through or dealt with what is like 
causing the anxiety. Now I'm kind of working through it. There are days where I feel like, oh my God, that's all I think about is what's coming up, what's coming up, what's coming up and like all these different scenarios and all these different things and it just drives me nuts. So I'm trying to kind of get that under control. Um, one of the things is just to kind of like let go of that. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, I just have to let it go and just not worry about it. It's easier said than done. But I have to constantly try to reiterate that to myself and to um, get up and do small things, set small task goals, get up and do one thing a day. Like if it's laundry, do laundry. If it's shopping, do the shopping. If it's whatever, errands, bills, whatever has to be done, orders, do one thing at a time. It really helps me to kind of push forward through that. So that's one way of trying to keep my insomnia at bay is to not be so stressed, not be so worried, not have so much anxiety. Um, and I don't know, my daughter just said something to me a little while ago. She said something about retrograde mercury, something retrograde. It's just something it's affecting the moods. And I was like, oh my God, it was like, ding, ding. It was like, I said, as soon as you said that is like, it all just made sense. And all of a sudden I was like, you know what? I'm going to get up and I'm just going to start cleaning this bathroom. I have been putting it off now for a couple of days. I have to get it done. Um, I had vacation for a couple of days. I've been home for like three days and I'm going back to work tomorrow. And um, then I'll be at work for the next couple of days on a hybrid schedule. Then I'll be at home for a couple of days. So I have to kind of get back into my routine and I just getting up and cleaning the bathroom is just one way of kind of jump starting that because I've been putting it off and putting it off so um so yeah I just kind of wanted to kind of you know sit and talk with you guys for a bit while I am going through this moment here um I think the bathroom is ready my tub is ready now to be cleaned it's been sitting for a good 10 minutes or so um so I'm gonna go have my shower and hopefully be able to get some shut eye. So now it's 3.08. So I'm hoping to be in bed by four o'clock and be up by eight. So if I can grab four hours of sleep, I'll be happy. And yeah, so thank you guys so much. Um, if you made it to the end of my little mini video, if you suffer from insomnia, from insomnia, um, let me know in the comments or if not, uh, maybe it's not something you want to talk about, but it is a safe space. I feel safe talking about things. So if you do want to share, like maybe you have a strategy that you use to overcome it, to deal with it. Um, if you want to share that, you can feel free in the comments and we can talk about it. Um, other than that, thank you guys so much. Um, stay up and stay blessed and definitely stay safe. Deuces. You stand behind.